I'm about to leave to go to Sheffield because I'm presenting a programme at Sheffield DocFest. DocFest is a really big documentary film festival. It's probably the biggest one of its kind based in the UK. And there's lots of buying and selling of films that are going on there. So some films there will never get a general release in the UK, but might go out on TV or they might go out, you know, in another market somewhere else. And some of the films there have already sold and in fact will be in cinemas like next week. So for example, the Maradona film by Asif Kapada is playing at DocVest before its general release next week. It's not really my end of the industry because when I'm not doing indie tricks or my actual paid work, I'm really a fiction filmmaker, not a documentary filmmaker. But I am really excited to go to the festival and see kind of what it's like because I've never really been to a festival that has that much of a market around it, that has that much focus on the buying and selling of films. And as a filmmaker myself, that's like, I'm always interested in. Gotta make that cash money. And the other thing is that I get to show a program of short films there. It's a curated selection that I chose with another programmer. We're both previous members of the Barbican Young programming team. That's for a festival called Chronic Youth that I was part of for two years that played at the Barbican. If you're interested in film programming, by the way, I highly recommend applying for Young Programmers when it comes up. It's been a huge part of my creative and career development over the last couple of years but it's also given me loads of extra opportunities like this one, so I'm really happy to share it with you. And I thought this whole experience would actually be worth making a vlog about. Um, probably my second ever vlog, and weirdly enough, the first vlog I made actually features me going to Chronic Youth Film Festival the year before I started programming there. So it's a nice reason to make a vlog. It ties in quite nicely to um, what I've done in my previous work. And it's sort of like a, a way to tie all my vlogs together. I'm only gonna make them when it's about me programming. How does that sound? Good agreement. I feel like I should get you all to agree on this because I did once turn the channel into a fidget spinner fact page uh, for about 10 minutes and response wasn't great. So I'm down here on the floor in my Premier Inn to tell you briefly before I go off to my first event about what signing into a festival is like, what they give you and what the kind of setup that you get in a festival this size is. So when you're a delegate and usually if you get a pass or anything like that you get like a nice little tote bag. Um, I don't know if they give this to you if you just buy like one ticket, I've never done that, I've always been like I want everything. So the first and most important thing you get is your delegate pass. Uh, I'm here as myself, Will Webb, hi. Uh, not using a pseudonym this time, just for fun. Passes vary from festival to festival. At DocFest, it's basically like you can get into events. Uh, you often have to queue for those events instead of having proper tickets. Sheffield kind of splits the difference a little bit on that. So you can book some tickets in advance and other ones you have to go and queue. The event I'm going to now um, is not only ticketed, but also booked out. So I'm gonna have to go there and wait and see if there are free tickets. I'm gonna go see Paul Greengrass, who is quite well known as a fiction filmmaker, but is also a documentary filmmaker and was originally a documentary filmmaker and who uses documentary approaches in his fiction work. So for me, like a perfect event, but he's quite well known. He did the Bourne movies, so that's basically sold out. So you have to go and wait for tickets and see if you can get hold of them. I've just noticed that there's like a little bit of the seat in the foreground here, which is fun, it's vloggy, it's an aesthetic. Welcome to vlogs. On the way here, I lost my lens cap and it rained, uh, which reminds me why I don't do vlogs. I don't like taking my camera out of the house, apparently. So the next thing that you get is a catalog. This is basically like a massive list of all of the films that are in the festival. It's not just to like help you remember what you saw and everything like that. But in a festival like DocFest, which is so industry focused, it helps you to find contact details for the people who made the films. If you have an interest in kind of finding out more about the film, in programming it or in buying it for distribution, for instance. And it varies from festival to festival, but some places and DocFest is one of them will give you the emails for those production companies as well. You know, you when you sign up as a delegate or when you sign up to show your film, you enter in kind of what you're comfortable people having access to because there is that commercial aspect to DocFest. It is kind of like 
focused around that to some extent. And it's not just the features, it's also the shorts and the virtual reality program that's listed in here as well. There's usually ads as well because festivals are sponsored usually by a lot of big industry people. So this is BAFTA Guru, which is like the learning platform that BAFTA uses. This is Dogworth, which is a big distribution company that basically is like the biggest distributor of documentaries in the UK at least. And Mubi, which is sort of like RT Netflix, I suppose. Uh, a great platform if you haven't got a subscription to that already. So yeah, these are super important. And then last but not least, you'll end up with like a list of all the people attending um, in a festival like this, where there are people like from production companies who might just be coming to meet filmmakers. So if you go networking and you don't manage to get in touch with someone, uh, then this will kind of give you some contact details for that. And they're quite limited, um, but it's basically just to be a bit of a reminder and a bit of a kind of like, primer maybe on people that you might meet when you're at the festival. So that's the catalogue and then you get a load of explanatory material that's usually from the sponsors. So here's one from um, Open City Docs which is affiliated with UCL so that's them talking about their master's programs around that kind of stuff and then you've got like a magazine and Getty Images who are like an archive and stock photography kind of company and then Sheffield Hallam, Curzon, this is another one for DocFest, it's like a smaller version, it's just a program of the actual event. And then you've got, this is, actually I have no idea what this is, but there you go, that's another documentary thing. You'll often get like little uh, knickknacks and goodies in the bags as well. Uh, nothing like incredible, nothing to shout home about, but um, there'll be stuff like key rings and things like that. I had a Kodak key ring I remember that I kept for years. Um, so here's a little coaster from Igloo, which is, I think, a VR company. I actually might go to their event because I kind of want to see that VR stuff. I'm always interested in VR. I think it's an interesting field that I probably won't ever make anything in, but it's always kind of interesting to know more about. So anyway, I'm signed in, I've got my Deloitte pass, and I'm going to go and try and get into this Paul Greengrass event, probably fail to do so, and then go to screenings for the rest of the evening. So I'll see you later. <laughs> All of the lighting in the hotel is not that strong, so it's quite difficult to expose by, so I'm hoping that I'm gonna be done by the time that the natural light is gone from the window that I'm standing near right now, hooray. I met up with a producer friend who's actually producing me and Phoebe's next project together, which is really exciting. So we've been to like free networking events, uh, which was really good fun, and we met some interesting people. So we're gonna go to another networking event in like an hour and a half. I've just taken the time to come back to my room uh, and charge my phone really key thing to do when you're networking. Don't have your phone run out of power. Really bad idea. My screening is over, it actually had a pretty good audience which is always really nice for when you're screening like silent 8mm films that are made by amateurs uh, from the 50s so that's a really nice feeling and um, I've actually just met up with my family and also with a couple of friends who live in Sheffield so it's been a, a busy day, a good one and I've also managed to end up not being able to attend the screenings I was going to attend before my train goes because of that but hey it's worth it. On the train again. I'm done and I'm home and I am knackered. So I'm gonna sit down and watch some stupid TV or something. But it's been a really good couple of days. It's been an amazing experience presenting that program at DocFest. And I can't wait to see what you think about that. I hope it was informative and I hope that you uh, had fun watching it, I suppose. I hope it was entertaining in some way. And if you have any more questions about DocFest or about what it's like going to festivals in general, then please do comment down below and let me know your thoughts, your comments, your questions, and your suggestions. That's it from me. Have a good one. Bye for now.